Okay, okay. Welcome to our school. It is an integrated high school. And I am your trainer, Dr. Jimmy Dosa, and you uh, in the electrical installation. So, ako may nalilig ako sa inyo, na sa HD, kapasahin ko sa amin sa electrical. Kaya po ay nasa institutional assessment na electrical installation and maintenance. Okay? By the way, I am your trainer. I am Dr. Jimmy Dosa, and I am competent trainer in electrical. So our school is Unisan Integrated High School. So please stand up and please say, Amen. Amen. So as I call my name, please stand in our attendance sheet. Herbert Poleza, design. Maris Ramos. Before we start, I would like you to answer this uh, characteristic to find out what are the learning styles you have. Then, after you answer this uh, the training style characteristic, you need also to answer the self assessment checklist. Para malaman natin kung ano na yung mga competencies na meron kayo at hindi nyo pa matutuwa. Okay. So before we start, I would like you to forget about our training program. So our training program is we call CBT. So what is CBT? Our objectives or our activities will be lined up in this manner. First, uh, I will discuss to you the qualification of our uh, training. So in what qualification you are. So you are in electrical installation yet? Maintenance. Wala kong narinig ko ba? Lahat po tayo na sa EIN. Then, I will define the CBT. Second is, I will explain to you the 10 principles of the CBT and the comparison between the CBT and the traditional teaching. And also, I will discuss to you the role, my role as your trainer and your role as the trainee. And then, I will discuss also to you the uh, our materials that we use in this day which is the CBLM, or we call the competency-based learning materials. So first, so what is CBT? Huh? CBT is a training delivery approach that focuses on the competencies, development of the training as a result of the training. Uh, malaki ang pagkakaiba nito tungkol sa uh, approaches because uh, during in your formal school or in your secondary, you have the traditional approach. And then, uh, dito sa atin sa test lab, we are using the CBT approach. We are focused on the, uh, on the skills rather than the uh, your, uh, theory. So CBT is a uh, the, uh, competency base. Uh, I will give you the competencies that you need to get before you become a qualified or competent in a particular qualification, like in the idea. So, this will be the flow of our training. Uh, first, uh, you will enter the program. So, our program is the CBT. So, our, our training delivery is CBT approach. Okay? So, once you enter the program, in, the, in your chosen qualification, like the EIN, you need to uh, you need to undergo your different uh, activities, like in our employee. Now, first, you as a learner, you need to select a competency in a particular qualification. And after you selecting the, uh, the competency, you will undergo into different activities like this one. So you need to review the learning package, you, you need to view uh, materials like the CBLM or the, the PowerPoint presentations, and you need to observe demonstration of your co-learners and the demonstration of your features, and then you need also to practice your skills in our practical work area. And then you will receive assistance from me as your trainer. And if you have any questions or clarification regarding our qualifications, don't hesitate to ask an assistance from me. Okay? So after you go in that, so that the students or the learners, you as a 
direction, attempt the task, and then while you are attempting or demonstrating a particular skills, you need to uh, observe your performances and you will need to get you have to have the grades from your trainer and you need also to rate yourself in the performance task. And if you are not uh, done with all that, you will undergo, you will get the satisfactory reward if yes. And if you have that, if you have that competency with the chief, but the chief then you know, after satisfied then you your competency at the highest, what about the other side? Uh, second, uh, uh, para, ano sa, sa, sa second diagram natin which is you need to complete the, all the competencies and then if you complete all the competencies you can now exceed the program kung hindi naman ninyo makompleto you will go back into selecting another competencies sa taas naman if you are satisfied you can go uh, back back na kung hindi ka naman kasi kung hindi mo naman satisfied si trainer doon sa si performance Babalik ka naman doon sa review. So that is the flow. Ano? That is the flow of the our training. First, you need to select a particular competency and then kapag ka nakuha na ninyo lahat yung competencies, you will exceed the program. And then you will, uh, you, na, nasa sa inyo na yun, you will go into the national assessment to get the national certificate. Or you will enroll into another qualification again and you will enter again to the program. C D. So this is our workshop layout. Okay. So our workshop layout, I tutor po kayo. Okay. So this is our contextual uh, learning laboratory, which you will conduct orientation, send the uh, 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 written examination of our works. Okay. So our next uh, area is. The quality control area. So this quality control area, dito natin yung check-check yung inyong mga work, yung inyong mga mga products, o yung inyong mga project-based output. Dito natin yung quality control. This is our quality control area. And also, this is our resource learning area, which you will find our uh, learning materials like the CBNM. So look, so nito yung mga libro natin, mga references para uh, dito nyo makikita yung ating uh, lahat ng materials ang kailangan natin to finish our competencies. So this is our practical work area which you will demonstrate your skills and I will also demonstrate to you a particular job or task that I will, uh, I will assign to you and then you will demonstrate also your your, your uh, performance in this area. And this is what we call the practical work area. So this is our institutional assessment area. This will be the area where I will assess you institutionally if you are competent in a particular uh, competency. If not, you will go back into the review. Okay, this is our support service area. So this area is you will find the materials, uh, the materials that you will uh, that will support in your demonstration of skills. Ano? Tignan makikita yung mga materials. Nakalakyan ko so. Tapos may password yan. Tapos may password. Yeah, this is our support service area. Yeah. And this is our trainer, trainers resource area, which your records and data, your permanent records, is stored in this area. Also, this area, our uh, uh, person should not uh, allow to get inside without my permission. So also, this is, and the last area is our laboratory or our distance learning area. Okay, this is our laboratory or our computer room and uh, that we will use in our distance learning. Uh, you can search in YouTube or the different. So that is our uh, our uh, CBT or Computer Based Training Work Layout. Any question on that? Yes? At least it's not a master of law. Okay, uh, no. I'm a of law. Yes, uh, you, are, uh, you are gaining your skills and you're, you need to be competent inside our institutional 
uh, training center. Kaya naman naman dito. Para mabubo ng video. So the principles of the CBT, we have 10 principles of CBT. Okay, the first principle is, uh, this is the 10 principles of CBT. First is, the training is based on the European Development, the competency standards. Okay? So second, the learning is modular structure. The learning is a modular structure, which your uh, your learning will be self-based. You, know? uh, you will be facing your own capability to get the uh, to get the competency. And okay? uh, the training is based on the work and that must be performed. Okay? So that is an example of our principles in uh, CBT. You need to demonstrate a particular skills. So my, my role as a trainer, so I have so many roles in this uh, training, but I will give you a, an ample uh, example of, uh, of uh, role of my role as a trainer. So I need to serve to you uh, as a team member to determine what is to be learned. That's why I give you the self-assessment checklist. No, I, I administer the self-assessment checklist to determine the level of your knowledge, underpinning knowledge, and underpinning skills para alam ko sa kayo umisahan. Next is, I need to manage learning in this institution. And last is, I need to diagnose and to solve the problems while you are in our training. And if I have a role, you have also a role. Your first role is, you can learn at your own rate within program guidelines. Uh, pwede yung kaklasi ninyo, na iiwanan ninyo, depende doon sa bilis ninyo pagkatunto. For example, pwede nga uh, si, si Learner Herbert ay pwede nga sa practical work area na while si, si Maris ay nasa nasa contextualized learning laboratory ka naman. Ibig sabihin, uh, minamas ka pala lang kayo yung underpinning skill, uh, underpinning knowledge, why naman si Herbert ay nandun na siya sa minamaster na niya yung underpinning skills. Ano? So, your learning is depend upon in your ability uh, to get the competency. And also, you can move really in this workshop or in our training center. Provided that you follow our rules and regulation of our institution. Okay, so you are in the Electrical Installation and Maintenance NC2. That is our qualification. Tayo po ay nasa EIM NC2. And Electrical Installation and Maintenance have the three kinds of competencies. First is the basic competencies which you will learn different uh, types of uh, competency like uh, getting the communication skills, preparing materials. Why the common competencies is you need to familiarize the different materials, tools and equipment, how you will use it. And our core competencies. So the first competencies in our core is you need to perform uh, rapping in activities in a widely and daily uh, for a single distribution of power lightning and auxiliary outlets. Our second competency is you need to install protective devices for the distribution of power lighting, uh, auxiliary lighting protection, and the grounding system. And the last competency in electrical installation and maintenance is to install wiring devices of floor and wall mounted outlets like the fixtures, or switches, and auxiliary outlets. So I will introduce to you the CBLM. So what is CBLM? So CBLM is a competency-based learning modules. So what is the uh, content? Or what are the, uh, the parts? of the CBLM. So the CBLM having this kind of this, uh, activities or uh, different sheets. So first is you need to read the information sheet. After you read the information sheet, you need to answer the self-check. And then after you answer the self-check, you need to compare your answer to the key correctionss. And then 
uh, the CBLM also have the different uh, uh, job performances or performance skills demonstration that we need to demonstrate a task sheet, job sheet, operation sheet, and your training day will be depend on the self performance checklist. Don't forget to be safe while we are in the institution because safety is our priority. Safety first before anything else. Enough. So think safe, act safe, and be safe. So our evaluation system, I will evaluate you through written test, demonstration, oral questioning, direct observation, and portfolio. While the written test, you will, uh, I will, uh, the first thing is I will administer the free test. You know, to determine the level of your you have. And then after all, when you are uh, in, the, uh, in the training, you will demonstrate your skills, all of particular competencies that you need to get. Then, uh, if you demonstrate it, and you get the satisfactory rating, or if you get the competent rating, uh, you will undergo into the oral questioning. I ask your trainer, ako mismo yung katanong sa inyo, to prove to me that you are the one who will do the demonstration. And then, I have also a direct observation when you are demonstrating a particular skills. And also, the last is, you need to compile all the written words, outputs in a particular portfolio. That is the system that we're using to validate you to finish this uh, validation. Again, you will be rated through competent or not yet competent. Or C for competent and NYC for not yet competent. What is the difference between the competent and not yet competent? So if, if I said to you that you are not yet competent or you are NYC, you are already competent, but it's not yet. You need to practice and to master a particular skills before you competent. That's why if you get the NYC, you need to work again to get the competence. So our monitoring tools we will use is number one, I will give you a, a trainer's record book. Uh, this is one of our monitoring tools. I will give you a trainer's record book which all the activities from the basic, common and core competencies are listed. So, after you get the TRB and you get the competencies, you you done to the different activities in our TRB, uh, you need to gain the signature of your trainer. And you will uh, go into uh, two kinds or three kinds of evaluation system that we have. First, you need to go through the written test. And then after all, you will go to the oral questioning. And then you will demonstrate. If you are competent, I will sign it and you will proceed into another competency. This is the use of our training record. Another is, we will be using progress chart. The list of uh, all competencies, learning outcomes that you need to achieve. What the achievement chart are uh, a list of competencies in form that you need to achieve. So you need to accomplish the two kinds of uh, our monitoring tools. You need to finish all the activities. So that are our monitoring tools. We have the achievement chart and progress chart. So that's all for today. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, good morning again, learners. Morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And welcome to our day two attendance again. If I call you, please sign. Herbert Moresa. Uh, Maris Ramos. Okay, please stand up. Let us pray. Amen. Maris, may I see yes. your, your uh, registration before? Thank you. So our uh, our topic for today is all about electrical protective installing or install electrical protective devices for the distribution of power security and lighting protection and ground system. Okay, so this is the second competencies in our core competency. Okay, before we start, you need to answer the three things. 
Okay? I will give you uh, 30 minutes to answer the three things. Okay, thank you. Pass your paper. So our objectives in this uh, competency, first is you need to prepare tools and materials and personal protective equipment of installing lightning fixtures. Our second objective is to perform installation of lightning fixtures. And you need to check the integrity and the connections of the lighting fixtures. So how to install electrical lighting fixtures? So one of the most simple uh, devices to install and now we're going to try to understand is the lighting fixtures. Installing lighting fixtures requires careful planning and attention in detail. Ay, hindi pwede magkamali. Kasi oh, ako okay. naman sa elektrikal, once na magkamali kayo, oh. it's either uh, light or uh, uh, property yung pwede mawala. Kaya lagi tayong mag-ihingan. So what are the tools that we need in our uh, installing light like, fixtures? So a set of pliers. So we need also to have our wires. Lock receptor end and switch. That all that are the materials that we need to be familiarized in installing lighting fixtures, and we need to prepare. So these are the materials. The first step in installing lighting fixtures is to locate the power source. How to locate? Why we need to locate the power source? Uh, in the safety uh, in the safety procedure, we need to turn off the power supply before we start an installing or a maintenance in a particular establishment. You need also to install the wire into the wire wings. Then you need to cut the wires on the standard length uh, provided or given by the uh, PEC or the PTP electrical home. So you need also to connect the hot wire or the line one to the lock receptor pin and then to the switch. And you need to check the continuity of your work using a multi tester. Okay, so this video uh, will represent how we plan the installation of the lighting fixtures. Okay, good morning. Welcome to Nissan Integrated High School, our institution for electrical installation and maintenance. Today, we will demonstrate how to install electrical uh, light fixtures and auxiliary outlets. Our objective is to prepare the necessary materials in installing lighting fixtures. Our second objective is uh, to install the lighting fixtures, and our last objective is to check and uh, uh, Check the hour installation if it is correct. Materials needed in installing lighting fixtures side cutting pliers, long nose pliers, combination pliers, Philip screwdriver, standard screwdriver, wire size 14, electrical tapes, electric uh, lamp holder, flash type switch. Lamp and multi tester. Our PPE is hard hat, gloves, steps and procedures. First, you need to prepare the electrical materials. Locate the power source before starting the installation. Install the wiring into the wire wings. Make sure that, that the wires have the measures approved by the OHS. Then cut the wires based on the standard length. Then splice the wire. After splicing the wire, 
locate the line 1 to the power source, making sure that the power source is turned off. So we are using pigtail. After connecting the line 1, we'll connect to the switch. And then the travel wire will be connected also into the switch going to the lamp. Then, connect the line 1 to the lamp. Also, you need to connect the line 2 to the lamp using screw drivers. Check the, connect the continuity of the connection using multi-tester. So, after checking the continuity, Make sure that you will administer the commissioning process because our safety is the most important. Make sure that the connection is correct and having electrical tapes as the solution. Then mount the lamp into the lamp holder or lamp itself. Okay, after installing the electrical lighting fixtures, we need to check the connection if it is correct by administering the commissioning process. The commission of classes is checking if the connection is correct before we test the lighting fixtures. Okay. After uh, administering the commissioning process, uh, we need to uh, turn on the lighting, uh, the power source, and uh, click the switch or turn on the switch to check if the circuit is correct. Okay, in this case, our connection is correct. Okay, based on the self-assessment checklist or the self-assessment guide that we built up, so sir, uh, uh, Herbert Presa, you will go into the uh, practical work area. Okay, senior Herbert is into the practical work area. When mama is, we will go into the uh, uh, computer laboratory for the uh, written examination. Okay, Mr. Mingote, here is your uh, competency-based learning material. You will read the accomplishment task in our CBLM in our Data <coughs> Resource Center. Okay, after you did uh, the activities in the CBLM, you will go back into my uh, area in our community and uh, notify if you finish the activity in the CBLM. Okay, Herbert, you need to demonstrate the install, how to install the lightning fixtures. Before you install the lightning fixtures, you need to prepare the materials. And you need to demonstrate how to install the switch, the lamp is set okay, and then the, uh, the protective devices. Okay, go. Here is my protective uh, device, ano? PPE, the uh, the shoes, and all that. Yeah, this, is, this is my material, the screws. So, based on the result in our evaluation, uh, uh, Herbert Moresa finished the task. So, I will name his name in our promise card as complete. Okay, Herbert Poresa, you got the uh, competent rating. And Maris, yes. Valerie, you also got the competent rating. Thank you, sir. And, okay, so very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you do good and your installation is correct. So before we go into the last uh, word, I need to ask some questions to you. Okay. So why the safety is important while performing the task? Because for searching. Okay, thank you, Mr. Poresa. Upon checking your uh, your uh, examination, so your score is 48 out of 50. Congratulations. Then, so before we end uh, this uh, uh, meeting, yeah, you will receive the uh, certificate. certificate of completion. Yeah. Achievement. Congratulations. Then, uh, this answer is uh, the evaluation form power. Okay. The evaluation form power. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Maris, yeah. uh, based on your self-assessment uh, guide in the data examination, uh, you will uh, go with our uh, computer laboratory to take the uh, computer test. Okay. Congratulations. Yes. You did great. Your score is 35 over 35. You got the perfect score in our computer. Congratulations, Felicia, everyone. We did great in our day training, and I hope uh, that all of you are 
certificate of achievement and yeah. award qualification. We will give the or finish our course. You may now apply for a national assessment. Thank you and congratulations.